Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily add a lag or lag time to your character camera. Now this is a really easy and simple trick, it doesn't involve any blueprint modification or creating something, it's basically something that is inherently present in Unreal Engine starting with really old versions and going all the way to version 5. This process will allow you to get that feel of a dynamic camera, a camera that is not simply placed on your player capsule or player character, but has some kind of a lag or is basically lagging behind whatever the player is doing. Now to do that, to add camera lag time, we simply need to select our player character. As you can see, I have my starter content right here open up this is the third person starter content and i'm going to select the third person character i'm going to go and edit it right here you see this option in the upper right corner edit third person character and now the editor opens up here you have your event graph everything you have and use from movement and input jumping so far is here but we won't going to use that because like i said we don't need to create any kind of blueprint modification instead we're going to go to the viewport which is right here in the viewport we can find everything we need which is actually a setting inside of the camera boom as you can see here in components you have your camera boom and when you select it it's like a regular boom that you might find in the movie industry only it's of course digital and it is actually connecting your camera with your player now under the camera boom once you select it right here are the details we need to find lag and simply type in lag and you got it here and you can see there is enable camera lag enable camera rotation lag and all of these options are right now unaffected or unactive because they're some not selected first of all let me show you how the player capsule or player character looks like in the game right now and as you can see the camera is following the player pretty much directly uh, the jumping and the movement features are a bit enhanced the gravity is smaller so the jumps are longer but we're gonna keep it because it's more visible the changes we're going to make right now so as you can see the movement is regular now we're going to enable camera lag and the default value is 10 we're going to decrease it to see how the same lag actually performs and let's set it to 5 we're going to save, compile and save, and let's see the player now. As you can see, there is a bit of that camera lag, which is best viewed if we move to the sides. As you can see, the player stops and the camera kind of swoops in. To make it even more visible, we're going to set this to 1. Again, compile, save play and there is a lot more lag as you can see my player is literally moving away from the whole screen and the camera is kind of trying to keep up I move to the side and here it is it has that even that ease in moment when it slowly moves into the player now let's move that as you can see one is too much let's keep it on let's say four but let's add enable camera rotation lag script note 10 let's put it on four as well it will allow you to get the camera lag even when rotating so let's see that and as you can see even when i rotate around my player there is a bit of that lagging motion in some kind of positions especially the upside camera or camera from the top you can see that even better and the results are really cinematic and really impressive which is allowing you to get that feel but don't overdo it i'm going to talk about that at the end and we also have camera lag max distance this is the biggest distance that the camera will allow 
the player to have. So let's put this to five as well. Again, compile a save and let's see how does that look like. There is kind of a sense that it's looking pretty similar, but we can move the camera lag distance further away or at the shorter distances to create different kinds of effects, all of which provide that cinematic feel and the whole camera lag is with all of this active and present in your level. Now, my main point about using camera lag, this is more a uh, question of game design than actually using Unreal Engine, is don't overdo it. As you can see, there is a bit of that motion sickness that appears when you use a camera lag. When you watch it and you play it for hours and hours, most players will get used to it no matter how big the lag is. Some will get that sense of motion sickness. This is a regular feature of game design gone bad, <laughs> the camera usage gone bad. So be really careful about it because if you get that sense of player getting kind of queasy while playing, that's a really ter terrible thing to have for your game and something you definitely want to avoid. So don't overdo camera lag. Try it out, you can easily tweak it, you can easily change it. Yes, it does give the whole feel, look and feel of that cinematic kind of stylish camera movement, but if you overdo it, people will literally get sick. Not all of them, but some will get that sense and that's a really no-go area for any level, any game, any prototype, no matter what you're building. That's all for this video, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you found it useful, it's a really simple tutorial, it's something that you can do in a few clicks, but it's also something that you won't probably find intuitively on your own if you just go browsing around. Again, if you're a first time viewer, please consider subscribing to my channel, checking out other videos that I created, there are links in the description below, there are links at the sides probably of your YouTube player, leave a like. There is a bunch of ways how you can support me as well, including my Patreon page, but the easiest way is to simply leave a like and leave a subscribe so you can check out my new videos when they appear in the coming weeks and months. I basically do one video per week, which is really basic Unreal Engine tutorial, basic stuff that you can apply easily and quickly, even if you're a total beginner like I am. Months are going by, but I still feel like a pretty much absolute beginner in Unreal Engine. That's all for this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels. Until my next video, bye bye.